So imagine this. It's a Saturday night. You're with your friends. Just got done hanging out, having fun, doing whatever, and you are on the mood for some ice cream. You open up Google and you type out ice cream shops near me. A list of dozens of ice cream shops pop up. However, one catches you in your friend's eye. Foggy ice cream. You are left wondering what makes them stand out. Is it the peculiar name, location, or the increasingly popular nitrogen ice cream? At Grover Corp, we assess and answer exactly that. We focus on the digital communication practices a business carries out and adapt them to best fit the business's needs. Before getting deep into the content of this presentation, we'd like to outline the general sections and pacing of the slides first. We have divided this presentation into separate sections, each focusing on a certain aspect of your digital presence. First, we'll mention what your company excels at and continue by suggesting further improvements and recommendations on areas we believe would most benefit you and your business. So let's not delay any further. After a thorough review of your digital presence by our team, we believe that you had a lot of the correct intentions when designing your website and getting a foothold on social media. However, we believe that you've missed the mark on some key features on your website and have not fully optimized your social media presence to its maximum potential. Some of the key features we think you should be focusing on is the nitrogen aspect of your ice cream. This would be most beneficial as it would separate your brand from other competitors and therefore give you the edge to sway a potential customer who is deciding where to go. Your website actually does a fairly decent job of displaying your services, but here are some of our more specific recommendations. Most importantly, having a menu directly on the website allows much easier access to your product rather than redirecting your customers to an external application. While we can safely assume that a majority of your customers do in fact have the Grubhub app, the last thing we want to do is isolate those without it. Keeping the menu on the website itself removes the extra hurdle individuals go through to get to their destination. As we had mentioned previously, the nitrogen aspect of your ice cream is a great feature that we believe should be your number one priority to promote. Your website does mention the freshly made ice cream with nitrogen, but it's in small text hidden away in a corner. Enlarging it and maybe adding an entire section dedicated to the craft of producing fresh ice cream on the go provides an authentic feel to the ice cream, a trait dominantly popular with the general consumer base in the ice cream industry. Talking specifically about the menu, we recommend adding all of your available ice cream flavors, your toppings, prices, and more. It shouldn't be a surprise what kind of variety you have. We are not here to tell you how many flavors, toppings, cones, or sizes you should carry and offer at your store, but we do think you should market to your strength. If you have every ice cream in the book, market it, scream it from the rooftops, that everyone will be satisfied and find what they are looking for when going to Foggy's. If you have a more limited and specific inventory, Market that as you have a deliberate specific menu and each of your offerings have extreme attention to detail and care put into it. Since your main audience is mostly going to be younger generations like Gen Z and Millennials, having the menu itself be vibrant could make it more appealing. In addition to that, your website, while colorful and inviting, feels a little too lengthy. Customers want the most straightforward and shortest road to the final product, the ice cream. Moving the most important information, like the menu option, the opening and closing times, and the location. In addition to that, your website, while colorful and inviting, feels a little too lengthy. Customers want the most straightforward and shortest road to the final product, the ice cream. Moving the most important information, like the menu option, the opening and closing times, and the location of the store, to the top of the page in an obvious section would help greatly. However, we understand that it is difficult to offer that much information at the top without making the website seem Here is a perfect visual example where you can improve the look of your website. On the left is the top of your page. 
it looks so empty when you could have added information that is both sought after by potential customers almost immediately when looking into potentially going to your store and would have filled out all of that blank space. The neglect to put your store hours up front is perplexing and should be changed. No customer wants to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page to see when they can actually go to the store. These are all strong approaches you could implement to maintain an effective and compelling digital presence on your website. But we have yet to mention your social media presence. Once again, due to the nature of your product, teenagers, Gen Z, and millennials, the younger generation in general, are your main consumers and target audience. And in the current day and age, social media is the most prevalent form of digital media these generations are involved with. After a thorough analysis of your social media, we've gathered enough information to help further improve the state of your company and allow it to go beyond expectations. First, let's begin with the small changes and work our way upwards. A quick and easy change that has a large impact on your online presence is adding relevant information such as your working hours, your address location, and links to your website and other social media. You're already halfway there with a link to your website on there. Just posting more frequently allows the algorithm to boost your posts to others as well. Posting on your social media story about upcoming events or new flavors and such, show your customers you're open, welcoming new customers, and up to date with the current world. Now, let's focus more on the content of your posts. We've noticed that a majority of your posts are about time-sensitive situations such as specific days or times you'd be closed. Using Instagram to post about situations like this is effective and we can encourage you to continue doing so. However, we recommend deleting the post about the time when it has passed and the situation is no longer relevant. This allows a much more positive and inviting social media experience that prevents the page from being cluttered with information that is incorrect. Posting more pictures of the products themselves is an easy and effective way to net you more exposure. Even simple pictures on a daily basis are enough to heavily boost the likelihood of your posts showing up on the Explore page and advertising your product indirectly. The next suggestion is specific to future events and possible collaborations. While you certainly don't need to be a graphic designer, Using flyers and other templates to advocate your seasonal or time-sensitive products in certain events is a great way to allow your customers information on the go. This next one is simple. Create a Twitter account. Creating a Twitter account is crucial to maintaining a social media presence, with the big three being Instagram, Facebook, and the as for mentioned Twitter. Creating an account is essentially boosting your social media presence by a third of what it currently is. The content of the Twitter post doesn't have to be extravagant and over the top. You can essentially treat it like another Instagram account, making sure you post important updates when they come up. While researching, it's become apparent that you have completely abandoned your Instagram presence. It's been over a year at the time of writing that since your last post on Instagram. Out of the two social medias that you incorporate into your business model, this one, in our opinion, is the most important. This platform is where your audience, the younger generation, millennials, Gen Z, and students use the most frequently. We strongly recommend that you get back to the model of updating loyal and potential customers about new ice cream deals and more through Instagram. To recap, we believe your number one priority will be revamping your website followed closely with creating a Twitter account. We believe these are the best choices for your business to continue growing its online influence. Thank you for your time and giving us the opportunity to help you and your business succeed. If you have any question regarding the suggestions we've mentioned, you can contact us via the email and phone shown to the side. Once again, thank you and we look forward to hearing back from you.